Hello Collector and welcome to a new coin review. If this is your first time on my channel, go hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. This way you will be notified every time I upload a new coin review. Today we take a closer look at two 2 euro coins from Luxembourg. And I am going to tell you why the coin in my hand is worth 2 euros and why the coin in the background could be worth up to 1000 euros. Both coins are from Luxembourg from 2010 with a total mintage of approximately 3.5 million coins and the reason the coin in the background could be worth up to 500 times more is because of a rare mintage error. But in order to detect these minting errors, it is important to know what a regular 2 euro coin from Luxembourg looks like. So let's take a closer look at a regular Luxembourgish 2 euro coin first so you can learn how to identify the mintage error. The observe of a regular Luxembourgish 2 euro coin is divided into two semicircles. On the right semicircle, the coin displays the profile of His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henry of Luxembourg. Whereas the left semicircle has the word Luxembourg written in Luxembourgish, the year of issue 2010 and two mint marks. Although this coin is from Luxembourg, these two mint marks are from the Netherlands. The mint mark at the top is the mint mark of the Royal Dutch Mint. It is represented by Mercury's Wand and indicates that this coin was minted in Utrecht, the Netherlands. And at the bottom is the Mintmaster's mark of Martin Brouwer, the director of the Royal Dutch Mint at the time, which is represented by a sailboat. Whereas the coin's outer ring depicts the 12 stars of the European Union, along with the mint mark of the designer of this coin that goes by the name of Yvette Gosteur Clerc and whose mint mark is a stylized combination of her initials YGC. On the edge of the coin is the inscription 2 star star in a sequence that repeats 6 times alternately upright and inverted. On the reverse of the coin is the regular common face of the two euro coins. It displays a geographical map of Europe, which covers the outer ring and inner corner on the right side of the coin. Superimposed over the map of Europe is the inscription 2 euro, the face value of this coin. Whereas the 12 stars of the European Union appear on the right side of the outer ring. 6 stars at the top of the map and 6 stars below it, which are visually connected by 6 vertical stripes that cut across the inner core of the coin. And just under the O is the mint mark of Luc Luix, the designer of the Euro's common reverse, which is represented by a stylized combination of the letters LL. Now let's take a look at the defect coin. The first thing that is immediately noticeable is the damage on the left side of the coin. But this damage alone doesn't make this coin worth up to 1000 euros. We need a proof that this damage is a minting error and not a damage caused to the coin after it was released into circulation. And the best way to determine if this is a minting error is to do a complete analysis of the coin. Just like the regular coin, this one also has the observe of the coin divided into two semicircles. With the profile of His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henry of Luxembourg on the right semicircle of the coin and the word Luxembourg written in Luxembourgish the year of issue 2010, as well as the two mint marks on the left semicircle of the coin. Whereas the outer ring also depicts the 12 stars of the European Union and the mint mark of the design of the coin. But when I turn the coin around, you notice that there is a radial displacement of the two faces by approximately 20 degrees. This radial displacement of the two faces of the coin can now make sense of the damage on this coin. The most probable scenario is that this coin got stuck between the two dice when it was being stamped. This trapping of the coin caused all this damage to the coin, while at the same time the resulting shear forces caused the dice to unscrew and misalign with each other. The result of this event may be several coins with the same rotated die error. But the fact that this coin may have caused several other coins to be minted with that error makes this coin one of a kind. Here's the normal coin and how the two faces should align with each other. In 
And here is the error coin again with the radial shift. The edge of this coin also has the inscription 2 star star in a sequence that repeats 6 times, but here the sequence doesn't alternate between upright and inverted. Here's the normal coin and how the inscription along the edge should alternate. And here is the edge of the error coin without the alternating sequence. This error is a big suspicion that this coin might be counterfeit. The next step in our analysis is to test if this coin is counterfeit. The easiest way would be to weigh the coins and see if they weigh the same, but since the coin is broken it would only be logical if the weight of the two coins wouldn't match. The next best way to determine if this coin is real is by checking the magnetic security feature that is present on the two euro coins. When we put the magnet on the edge of a normal 2 euro coin, it is pulled to the center of the coin. This happens because of a slightly magnetic inner part and a non-magnetic outer part. This magnetic field should be evenly distributed around the coin. To check this property, we rotate the magnet around the coin. If the magnet doesn't move, it indicates an evenly distributed magnetic field. Now, let's examine the defect coin with these two tests. When we put the magnet on the edge of the defect 2 euro coin, it also is pulled to the center of the coin. But this coin pulls the magnet in a very aggressive manner when compared to the normal coin. And when we rotate the magnet around the coin, the magnet always returns to the same position, indicating a non-evenly distributed magnetic field, and consequently that this is a counterfeit 2 euro coin, making this coin value 0 euros. The examination I did in this video is what everyone should do before buying any coin that looks suspicious. That was all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, go hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video.